Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Scott Sorrell. They call me Mr. Charge Higher Prices. Because <laughs> I teach companies all over the country, different parts of the world, how to charge higher prices and get your customers to thank you for it. Anybody up for that? Yes. Terrific. And I'm Charles Overbeck, and I am the sales process engineer. Scott and I have joined forces uh, in order to bring a complete package to the clients that we see. As you'll see by the name we've selected, we're an evidence-based company that utilizes behavioral science combined with technology integration, sales process engineering, and mathematics for analytics for continuous improvement. Though that's why it made quite a lot of sense for us to become STEM sales. So with that, one of the things that, uh, that we've done is Scott and I have found a lot that we can actually bring a comprehensive solution to our clients because we can do everything from A to Z. But our focus is very unique, and it's actually something that Scott and I have found in many, many clients. And that is, folks come to us once they've stalled. Sales aren't growing, the company's not growing like they anticipated, and just the other day we were walking into a prospective client, and I told Scott, I said, I bet I know what the problem is. I said, either I'm, either I'm gonna find out, or we're gonna find out that this is the problem, and it's either because I'm really intelligent or it's because I'm so old that I've seen this so many times. And Scott, in a very kind way, reassured me it was the second. So um, with that being said, the problem, and that's what we're leading up to, is that a lot of companies who stall start to think in terms of revenue and not in terms of profit. Revenue is what keeps your doors open. Revenue is what keeps you alive. But profit, profitability, profit drives growth. If you're not growing, you have a profit issue, not a sales issue. And that's what Scott and I together developed, uh, delivered to our clients, is an entire process that allows them to actually focus on growth of uh, profit and then to develop and grow as a company. Price doesn't matter if you have what customers think they need and can't get elsewhere. And working with companies like Cisco Systems, MetLife, BFW, Rolling, I mean, a lot of different companies in, in, hello. I think it's my voice. None of the mics want to work with me. So, just a matter of, okay? How's this one? Oh, there we go. Because, because I really need a microphone in this room, don't I? But, Again, it doesn't matter the size of your company. You can be a multi-billion dollar company or you can be a startup. And what you have to understand is that to make profit, there's only two ways you can do it. Drive down the cost of sales, leaving more space for you in your margin, and or drive up price. Charles Overbeck, when I met him, I was so impressed at a conference because he has worked for years with clients on driving down cost of sales. He introduced himself as the sales process engineer. He brings a discipline. I mean, the guy is a former Army, former Army Airborne Ranger. I mean, this guy is process, process, process. You don't use process, you die in that business. He brings that to the selling process and revolutionizes and makes duplicable and scalable every single aspect of the selling process. Whereas what I bring to the table is maximizing price. What I do is I help companies increase the WTP for their customers. WTP is an economic term for willingness to pay. And when you know how to increase the perception of value of your product, of your service, of what you bring to the table, it increases willingness to pay. And the magic is in driving down cost of sales, increasing willingness to pay, increasing price, which leaves margin in the middle. Challenge is, many companies, as Chuck referenced, focus on revenue. And I've heard it said, revenue is for children. Profit is for grown-ups. Because profit is what creates success. Revenue only doesn't even ensure survival. 
Okay? You hope you can survive on revenue, but it's not even guaranteed. And in the name, uh, it is the title of a very uh, excellent sales book a num number of years ago, Hope is Not a Strategy. So let's not just hope, let's drive up price and let's drive down cost of sales. We're actually doing a breakout session this afternoon at three o'clock downstairs in the symphony room. And we're going to be teaching specific techniques for doing this. So it's not just a matter of theory. I don't believe in theory. I'm an adjunct professor at Cal State Fullerton also. I teach marketing for entrepreneurs. And one thing I'm known for with my students is not teaching theory and ivory tower ideas. It's boots on the ground, feet on the street, drag the bag, bloody knuckle, make it happen. And when I, with my marketing teams from Cal State Fullerton, I put them into actual companies and make these people go to work because that's where they learn how to be practical and what does work. And with sales teams, all over the country, different parts of the world, same thing. It's got to work, not just in two weeks, not just in a month or two months, but the next day. And so this afternoon, we're gonna be sharing with you some powerful, proven ideas that will actually, tips, techniques, strategies, and methods for driving down your cost of sales and driving up customer willingness to pay in terms of price. And we're included, and included in that are even things like, you know, if we're, if we're operating in what I might call a, a punitive insurance reimbursement environment, some of you know what I mean, right? There are ways to increase that margin there. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be sharing with you a number of things for one hour at three o'clock, so please come down and join us, and we'll be delighted to really change your, not just your way of thinking, but give you some tools that you can use, and you can also bring back to your teams to use in order to increase profit, profit, profit. Cool? Yes. All right, see you then. Thanks, Dan.